Mercedes' title-winning F1 W05 hybrid was the most innovative car on the grid in 2014. Immediately visible at launch was a unique front suspension solution. For aero reasons, the lower wishbone was bodied to create a single wide plane that works in synergy with the front wing. In Canada, the plane section was increased in size. Unlike other teams, Mercedes responded to 2014's reduction in chassis height not with a step, but with a smoother bottom section. But perhaps the most important facet of Mercedes' 2014 car design was the power unit installation, which proved to be the best layout for both power and aero efficiency. Uniquely, the intercooler was placed in the top area of the chassis, a solution which helped the team to have very small side pods. The exhaust, meanwhile, were kept very short to maximise the heat blowing into the MGUH. Critically, unlike their rivals, Mercedes positioned the turbo compressor at the front of the engine and the turbo at the back, a layout which helped improve power. Another unique Mercedes solution was to completely body the inside of the side pods to improve the quality of airflow within them. Looking at the front of the car, the F1 W05 debuted with a longer nose, but in China the team switched to a design around which the car was conceived. The shorter nose, which was introduced only after it had passed the requisite impact tests, made a big aero improvement to the central section of the front wing and also improved airflow under the car. Looking at other changes that were introduced throughout the season, in Spain, the team unveiled new vertical turning vanes with a bridge connection to the top of the side pods and a new fin under the wing mirror. These were revised again in Japan. The rear bodywork was also updated throughout the year, including the engine cover, which in Malaysia featured a big oval-shaped exit to help cooling in the hot conditions. Until Spain, the side pods ended in front of the rear suspension, with hot air being expelled in the same area. However, this, along with the engine cover and the cut in the floor in front of the rear tyre, was updated over the course of the year to improve airflow to the rear of the car. These drawings show how the side pod length changed from Spain to Britain and finally to Suzuka. At the very rear of the car, Mercedes made several changes to the monkey seat rear wing throughout the season. This was the Monaco version. And here it is in low downforce configuration for Belgium. In Singapore, a fin was added on top. In Monza, the team removed the monkey seat and used a different rear wing support. You can see how different this was to the Monaco setup. And here's the configuration that was used in Belgium, complete with low drag rear wing. In terms of the diffuser, Mercedes created this small extension in the central section and a small central channel where the starter motor hole once was. In Japan, the channel was removed and some small vortex generators were introduced.